Hi, welcome to another video review for SimonsVideo.com. My name is Simon Tay, and today we review Galaxy Pirate Adventure. Uh, this is a 3D RPG uh, universal application. When you begin the game, uh, you may not be able to visit all the galaxies that is available uh, for you to discover. There's about 10 solar system and 40 star pods for you to visit. Unfortunately, you can't go to individual planets to visit but only star pods which I find a little bit disappointing however when you uh, selected a mission you can go to your galaxy map and then uh, click on the mission area and autopilot to the location where you have your missions which is a very easy and quick way to uh, you know travel around the area uh, but I find the traveling part is a little bit uh, repetitive which I hope the developer can add in more variety of uh, animations or cutscenes through uh, the traveling part and when you encounter the enemy you can see that the um, battle system is not a free roaming battle system you can see that you, I'm actually clicking on the missiles and the lasers uh, while I'm in range and uh, it uses up the energy bar at the bottom you can see it's actually charging right now uh, so you have to get out of range of the enemy attack and uh, recharge that particular uh, energy bar uh, the, the shield that I just deployed is using the same energy bar as well so you have to take note of that uh, a little bit of dance uh, movement that you need to go near enemy attack and go back a, a little further away for enemy to recharge so this is the only battle system in this whole game so well understanding that the developer do not want to copy uh, other types of uh, space simulation games like Galaxy on Fire or even the older PC games like Wing Commanders and Freelancers uh, but the battle system is a little bit of disappointment uh, to many fans including myself <laughs> Well, the interesting part of this game is to be able to upgrade your ships to about 37 ship models uh, that is available for you and there's about 6 different ship grades from frigates, transport, destroyer, cruiser, battleships, battle cruisers and each model will have its own characteristic and set of equipments uh, and currently I just uh, purchased the new Archangel 2 uh, which is higher structure points which is the I would say health points um, for you to actually uh, fly along with you so you can actually fly three different ships along in this uh, in the, this fleet of uh, spaceships so once you purchase the uh, Archangel 2 for the, the, the new missions you need to put in new weapons equip it with new equipments uh, armors and all kinds of equipments to improve on your chance of success in your missions uh, but of course um, when you are flying in the games itself you only control one of the spaceships the other spaceship is controlled by the AI I believe and once you have equipped a weapon or a part uh, you need to assign uh, certain crew members of different abilities and engineering uh, skills to individual uh, weapons for ability it actually boosts the attributes of the equipped weapon or part and the engineering part reduces the CPU required for that particular weapon you can choose to follow the main storyline of the game or you can get missions from every single star ports that is available and you can get different kind of rewarding uh, missions to to accept or they call it receive in this game well the pro and cons of this game first this game is definitely not a, a space simulation game so fans will be disappointed uh, but for people who have not encountered any battle space simulation games like Galaxy on Fire uh, might find this a little bit intriguing uh, and of course the upgrading parts uh, where you can fly uh, a fleet of uh, spaceships to battle is intriguing uh, but it's still a little bit repetitive there's a lot of suggestions that I would like to list out for the developers in my website and simonvideo.com uh, so that the developer can uh, take a look and 
uh, hopefully improve on this game so that it will not be so repetitive and uh, more epic in nature right so basically that's all for this review thank you very much for watching simon's video have a nice day see ya bye bye To support for this podcast, please visit simonvideo.com for more podcasts and application reviews. Thank you very much.